Yeah. 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 Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be starting my new segment called Fan Art Friday. Well, <laughs> where I'll just be making fan art of characters I like, characters you guys recommend, or just characters from shows I watch or just popular shows at the moment. So today I'll be making a magical girl trio of my three favorite magical girl shows sailor moon madoka and wings club i love them all so much and i enjoyed watching every single one of them so i start the sketch as usual with the brush pen because it has it's very light and you can build up a lot of details while drawing with it and I made each drawing individually so I can be able to display all my reference pictures which by the way are all cropped up and ugly because I lost all the downloads I made for those pictures so I just took crusty screenshots because I didn't want to <laughs> redo all that over again okay so I did all my sketches and then after I did them I brought them all together and well i didn't bring them all together yet so i did each of them separately and i chose the background color based on the character's colors so sailor moon is yellow madoka's is pink purple and blooms is blue so <clears throat> i made all of them holding an item i made um madoka holding her soul gem bloom holding i think her enchantix powder um it's like this little vial with sprinkly pixie dust and fairy powder it's used in the show and um in sailor moon when i was sketching her i don't know my brain kind of stopped working because even though she has all these staffs and items she used in the show i couldn't think of any of them so i just made a roughly moon shaped item and decided that's good enough all right so um when i was um when i was doing this i obviously realized that um out of all of them bloom had the most different um forms so i just decided to use her season one base form because out of all of them through each season she gets i think either one or two new forms and that's a lot of forms to keep up with so i decided basic bloom would be best bloom because all of them i'm also drawing all of them from their basic costumes and in the background i have all their group members because each of these magical girls are in a group um sailor moon is part of the sailors i think that's what they're called um bloom is part of the wings club and madoka is part of the holy quintet okay so after i did the line work um i did the background which i was going for a stained glass look so i made all of them look like they were engraved in a window of sort i don't know so um eventually i can make it out into a stained glass window so um then i did the line art which i just wanted to be the best it was it was so enjoyable the lines were so fun to draw and i enjoyed it so much so um I started of course by doing Sailor Moon's lines and I used the shell brush it's also from the calligraphy section most of the calligraphy brushes available in procreate they um they each have like a similar setting where the line is very straight so you don't get any wobbly lines and the lines are really nice and confident and it really helps you to build a very nice crispy um, line work for your art and of course i did the background with something different because I, I i didn't want the separated texture that um the shell brush has and i also wanted the main character um the one in the foreground sailor moon to look different from the background which are her group mates and the stained glass window oh my god i sound so confusing <laughs> but anyways um yeah that's that i did the line work and i did the line work for the, them in the back and of course the line work looks way better because in the sketch i was zooming meanwhile okay um i forgot that was there but in the sketch um i was zooming in as much as i could but because they were so tiny it was really hard to sketch them and the lines kept on going over each other so um when i sketched them the sketch looked really messy but the line work really brought out what each character is supposed to be and 
I tried to fix Sailor Moon's chin as you could see like two seconds ago, but um, I decided whatever, her chin is fine. And I move into Madoka and her lines are much thicker because um, when I finished Sailor Moon's lines, I went back to make them more detailed and much more thicker. And so I just left the setting on for Madoka so her lines are much bolder and thicker. And um, I think the first one of these shows I watched was um, Wings Club and then I saw Madoka and Sailor Moon. I saw Sailor Moon first and I saw Madoka's show and Madoka is much darker than the other two. I think um, in complexity, I gotta say, I think Madoka's show is more complex than Sailor Moon than Wings Club. Um, at least as I remember watching them, like Madoka is a thriller um a magical girl show like it's super dark you would not expect it the main characters are so cute and their color palette are cute they have these cute little outfits like everything is so cute and the style is so unique and you think wow this is awesome but then when you start watching it it's just sad cries tears all over the place and it's 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 dark and uh everybody was in for a rude awakening when they started that show and i think winks club i think that's my favorite out of all of them because when i watched it i think it was just the right time to watch it and i just really really love it i love the colors i love the fairies i love the flying i love all of it and i think season five or season six are my favorite mostly because the style is so crispy and the animation is so pretty and uh, i love watching season five and season six because everything just looks so so nice but yeah that's it kind of shallow but um i remember watching sailor moon and um <laughs> i remember everyone saying oh you think sailor moon is all simple but then there's like this big plot going in the background and that was true you would be watching the show and then the main cast sailor moon and the others would be solving a problem and in a galaxy far far away some big thing was happening and the, the cast wouldn't focus on it but then towards the end it would just come up out of nowhere but it would it would always be there so it wouldn't be weird but it's just that this show it seemed light but then there was always something really complicated happening and you never really knew what was happening you know you just thought well yeah this this plot is going on and then blam there's like this big thing in the background so yeah and um I just I really I really enjoy magical girl shows because I love shows with like superpowers and all that cute stuff and um, I finished the line work which was so exciting and fun and then I just added a bold and brash outline <laughs> stupid spongebob reference and um, and after I added the outline I went just to make them stand out I went and I add I made two different layers for two different gradients to basically add um on top of the base colors i'm adding right now so um to do the colors i went and i i opened um a separate file with each of the reference pictures so i could i drop the color directly into their art so i could be able to have precise colors because <clears throat> i didn't want to pick colors by myself and like risk having different colors for their skin tones or for their accessories like i want them to look as similar as the reference as possible at least color wise and um i think bloom was the easiest one the color because her outfit is less com complex than the others her outfit has least the least amount of parts all right so um i did that and of course i would like to touch up again on the fact that um when i was making sailor moon's magical item like they're each holding a magical item bloom's item i think it's from season one or season two and um madoka's item is her soul gem which is kind of like the magical girl's soul in a way um and they kill witches in the show and they purify their soul gem so if they get injured or something happens the gem becomes dark and clouded and then they have to make sure it's kept clean because that's like their life force and then for sailor moon i know she has a lot of wands and magical items in the show but my brain died so when i was making it i i was like i can't think of anything so i just gave her some vague moon shaped item and then i called that a day and then i felt i feel really bad now because i feel like i sh i, I could have made her hold on to something but look at her she's not even holding on to anything she's holding on to whatever that is supposed to be i didn't even know how to color it but um 
anyways and the way she's looking at it she looks disappointed she's like what is this what is this i'm holding but whatever so um uh, after i had all of their base colors in i i did their colors and then um the highlights you see in their hairs and stuff that's not that's just me erasing the colored layer like the rainbow layer on top so that that made a lighter highlight for their hair and then afterwards i just erase some parts that needed to be lighter and then um oh god i can't even think <laughs> but um after i did the solid colors i went back to the line work and then i made i made the colors more similar so their skin their skin color and the lines are similar in their hair and the colors of the lines of their hair so okay confusing but okay so madoka's hair is pink so the lines of her hair is pink that's what i'm trying to say and then i went and i added some shadows um for them then i made everything shinier i finished a stained glass window which is basically lots and lots of colors in the background and um and then i used um overlay layer to to make it really look like a stained glass window i got i think sailor moon's window looks the best because her shapes are more geometric so they look more stained glass window like um, and then I added a white outline to separate them just so I can add more junk in the background <laughs> because I just couldn't stop. I just <laughs> I just couldn't stop adding stuff to the background. And then I went back and I added thicker lines to the background. I did more um, I did more highlighting um, to their hair, to their bodies, to their clothes and anywhere I found where the line work was too light, I made it thicker. And I just added more details to kind of solidify the drawing. <clears throat> 75 years later. Alright, so um, I just kept on going back and forth with the line work and adding shiny stuff. Um, I add glitter to everything. I add glitter to Madoka's bow, her outfit, and those are the reference pictures I use for them. <laughs> and um, uh, here's the reveal. Um, as you can see, the lines are, the line work is amazing. And I try to keep their eyelashes dark so that us, yeah, everything just looks really nice. And yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoy this. If you have an idea for what I should draw for fan art, comment down below. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>